Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Fire 4, The Great War of the Russian Empire. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, we have capitulated the Ottoman Empire. We're pushing our way. We're very, very, very close to getting into the, uh, the Hungarian Plains. Which means we will not have to fight in all this dreaded, dreaded mountain soon. Pulled by... Apparently by the British. That's okay. How are you guys doing? You've almost taken Alsace Lorraine. Almost. So I'll give you credit for that. Three more days we can invade Thessalonica. Which should hopefully allow you guys to make some more moves. You're at 95. 96, 83. Please stop sending reinforcements into these areas. That's really all I want. I know you guys are sure Persia. If you want to send me a single division, um, go to this army. No, actually go to blue. I'm sure you're actually like complete garbage, but that's okay. Let's get our invasion of Thessalonica going. I'm just hoping there's nobody actually in the province. Yeah, you know what? Hold all the fronts for right now. We're missing 63,000 rifles. We're kind of missing a lot of everything, to be quite honest. We have no more spy planes, but that's kind of completely okay. Um, we should have enough planes to actually fill you up to 200. How many planes are here? 384. We're missing 10,000 support equipment. Like 69, I mean, for getting reinforcements, 29,000 rifles. So, you know what? Um, who has a lot of manpower they're not doing anything with? The French have zero. Okay, well. That's not great. How about, you know what? The British Raj, it's a little bit strange, but I'm going to give you control of, like, all of this land. Because for the most part, I don't want to occupy it. And you can occupy it pretty simply. Because you have the manpower for it. That should give me a bunch of manpower. It, it's slowly, slowly transferring them over. It's going to take them a while. There you go. Now British Raj has control of all that. Which should free up some rifles for us. Do you have the equipment and power to do that? You actually do have 32,000 rifle and like 2 million, 9 million manpower, so I think the answer is actually yes. You should be fine on that. Okay, so let's move our units around. Don't want to leave Thessalonica for obvious reasons. Looks like we do got some uh, unit movement down towards the south. Like, how many rifles do we actually make per day? Well, we're losing 596 per day. But we're making... Make about 250 rifles. It actually, it only takes us a year to reinforce everything. I know I'm saying only a year as if that's not actually, like, a decent chunk of time. Um, especially when you're in the middle of a war. We, okay, so we've made the tanks, but really we can't afford to actually use them at all. Like, it's after this. We've got a research factory output. What's next tech? 1919. I mean, we have to we have to take it. We, we don't have much of a choice in the matter. I do think we just get a troop to try to rush straight to Sofia. And get them to capitulate for us. So if it works, it works, right? So we got some Bulgarian units moving into the area. It is not an unexpected result. Okay, unsurprisingly, they have uh, come to try to stop us. But actually, they've kind of just left this area completely open. So I think, I think Bulgaria should end up falling sooner rather than later. Yeah, 
Okay, because you, you, you guys can do this. You go here. Yeah, they've actually completely abandoned this front line, which is spectacular. Get this movement going. I think for the most part, you guys don't actually want to fight at all. You, you've taken the ground that you need to succeed in this. And that's all I could ask for. Okay, but Varna's about to fall. Which means that you're now all going to be dead. Our hold on the location is pretty secure. Do not move. Please stay around here. This should hold, I think. Britain's actually landed in another province. You know what? If we can secure them some supplies, wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's try to take one more attack into Danzig, though. They're at 96. Montenegro's capitulated. They fought a good fight. The fact that it's 1916 and they've now just capitulated, I think, is pretty impressive on their part. But right now, the the Central Powers are fighting on such a large front line. Germany is still getting stronger, but Austria is just consistently getting weaker and weaker. Uh, Blue Army, I want you just here. And ready to smash away through the plains. So we can take Vienna, take Budapest. If, I mean, if Austria capi uh, capitulates, Germany, Germany's front line is going to be way too large for just themselves to deal with. Which is meaningful. Okay, you guys make some maneuvers. Again, I think you guys really just stay still. We got 91... At 86. But I think Sofia would kill Bulgaria. How much does Sofia worth? 15? Yeah, I mean, it's like their only other city that has victory points in it, so. If I had to take a guess, just that. Okay, don't even fight here. The British have already uh, lost their ground. France is trying to fight, but I think they're actually just going to get their unit completely killed. We're at 90 here. I mean, 90 is not bad. Is there anywhere we can make moves? Probably not, to be honest. Yeah, I want to keep fighting you guys. Basically, just trying to make sure they don't reinforce here. I think you're just going to try to force uh, force your way through. If you have the capacity to do so. Okay, so we've made a little bit of movement. A little bit of movement. The British Raj is now sending troops over here. Which isn't a huge surprise because now they do directly own that territory. Italy, how much manpower do you guys actually have? Only half a million? Okay, that's really not enough. How much? How many guns does France have? Uh, zero would be the answer to that question. Okay, so Germany really is just the only... I mean, because Germany at least has guns. Uh, which, which puts them in a, uh, a pretty big advantage at the moment. Having anything... Kind of puts you at an advantage at the moment. You guys are 89%. The planes are not flying over here. You should actually fly into Hungary. That is now, yeah, drastically reducing your defense. Low supply, of course, is not great. You got pretty good experience. At 91. 
What are we missing? I'm missing scale planes? I do not care. It really makes no difference to me at all. This was a pretty successful invasion. Again, Romania joining would be great. But they have neutral foreign policy. What did you guys take? They did not take neutral foreign policy, but they don't want to get involved in the war. Uh, which is unfortunate. But now you're at 120. Supplies are giving you like a 15% penalty, which does really suck. I just want to make the front line bigger. That's all I want. I mean, the German line hasn't moved in, like, years. Which is unfortunate. I guess, actually, you... You're worth five victory points. I don't know if I'm going to need to take that city or not to succeed. I mean, a lot of Austrian troops are actually just, like, dying to us. Thank you for the rifles. Italy, how many guns do you actually have? You have 87,000? Oh, thank you. I do really, really, really need those guns. So I appreciate uh, you giving them to me. I guess we'll go for the extra research slot. What do you do? You're also an extra research slot. Yeah, okay. Extra research slot, we'll take it. Seems nice for us. Do you guys have low supplies up here? You don't. Why are you taking attrition then? State. You know, it's probably because they have such high resistance modifiers. Um, military governor. Yeah, so that's not great. They're really... Thank you for a thousand guns. I, I, do, I need them so bad. You have no idea. But everywhere we're fighting is just a nightmare. I mean, you've almost taken the entire coastline. So, I mean, Austria only has one port to trade out of. So anything they don't have internally, they can't really access... Two troops on that front. The thing is, too, is that I've kind of navally invaded everywhere that I could navally invade. Um, which does have its problems. There's no denying that. Three hundred eleven defense. I mean, it's twenty five percent reduction. For you, I mean, you are hills. You're not quite the plains we want you to be yet. Like, who feels confident? You guys feel confident with an attack? Like, I'm, I'm just worried that a con like a frontline assault everywhere is just going to lead to utter failure and waste all of our supplies, which I really don't have in uh, high quantities at the moment. Like, cool. Does anybody else feel confident? You do, apparently. Screw it. Let, let, let's try it. Try it for a bit. Not you, though. Absolutely not. You need to be on a, a defensive army. Yeah, see, like, everything immediately goes red. You had great ideas, and then immediately, um... Bridget not in a position. Seems to actually be your biggest complaint. You guys actually need invasion plans. We're just gonna be pushing here. You guys push here.
When you're 99, just... Ninety-six. Just please break. It's honestly all I'm asking for. I mean, Austria still has a million manpower. The thing is, they don't have guns. In 56 days, we have another decryption bonus against Germany. You can maybe make, like, some gains up towards the north. That really is about it. Yeah, cause you guys aren't getting anything done. I guess it does... I mean, who's the weekend more? Me or Austria, do you think? Not weakening Germany. I mean, I guess it does weaken Germany a little bit as well. Please just actually die. They just don't. They don't want to give up. Do I have any more upgrades? I have 97 command power. Unsurprisingly, I can give, like, everybody infantry expert. I can make, like, a lot of entrenchment on these guys. But I do think we need some attack as well. Get one more going. See, which army is you? You already upgraded that guy. Okay. I give you all infantry expert. How much, how much experience do we gain? About one per day. That's actually pretty fast. No, it's not bad. Okay, you just sit back on the defense for now. How many rifles are we missing now? 93,000, huh? For garrison reinforcements. Yeah, I mean, the garrison's right now 82%. Division attrition goes up. Like, it's just a flat attrition penalty. We just, like, can't, we can't give them any rest. Who are you? Oh, it's the Italian troop trying to push their way up north. I mean, I appreciate the, um, I, I don't know, the enthusiasm, I guess. I don't think it's going to work out for you, but... You guys, have taken Triest. At 56%. Like, the thing is that Germany is just, like, stronger than we are. Until we can have them have no rifles. Which we actually have gotten them down to. Now they don't have guns either. So we're all in the same boat, which is we can't make enough guns. Honestly, um, cut down on this a ton and just make... I know they're shitty rifles, but they're just cheaper. We want the artillery still. Cut down on fighters as well. And just make guns. As many guns as we can possibly get our hands on. It really is just the best strategy we have. You've done it. You've broken through the one province I wanted you to get through. A great day for us. Italy, you're actually doing a pretty good job down in, uh, like, Bosnia. I appreciate that. But yeah, the thing is, they, they attack us. Because they're attacking us, now they just fill up these extra gaps, and it's like, oh, I've made, like, no progress. How many how many men have we lost so far? Have we got 3 million yet? 2.25? Okay, not so bad. Again, basically, the AI's killed almost nobody. We've, we've done, like, 60% of the casualties at least. 
Hey, Britain, you've landed again. Didn't land in a poor province, but... You know, you're, you're trying, and I'll give you that. Anywhere here looks like they can make some progress. Not really. I mean, like, thinking, you know what? Hey, British Raj. You almost some more. You can take like three more states. Congratulations for some more stuff for yourself. Like how many men? You have one thirty-eight. You have two twenty-eight. I mean, we out we outnumber you at least two to one. That's the crazy part. It's like we outnumber you by a lot. Right now, we have 272 days. We are putting 200 rifles in the hands of our soldiers every day. I guess we'll go for, like, supply consumption minus 1%. Um, follow that up with, I guess, reinforcement rate plus 2%. And support weapons are actually about to be done as well, which is going to give us a little bit more defense and breakthrough. I guess let's go for construction effort, too. Seems okay for now. Franz Joseph the first has died. He's been replaced by Carl the first. Like it's not manpower, right? Like if we go here, I'm sure. Uh, manpower is fine. We're missing fifty thousand rifles. Uh, half, more more than half our artillery are just not there. And almost all of our transport vehicles, uh, which is just great. Um. I guess we'll go for improved light machine gun. We have an extra research slot, so we can kind of afford to be a little bit more... I don't know, frivolous, I guess, if you want to call it that. I mean, everybody's starting just to get weaker and weaker and weaker, and we like nobody can afford to really fund their armies anymore. But I do think that's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thank you for watching my second If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Not enjoy, call you some down. Once more, subscribe and goodbye.